There's the light. Racing came out beautifully too, missing the start by a couple of lengths there was Amazon Time went back to the rear. And here beginning very quickly, Royal Timber over on the inside, just in front, Carrar went up second. I think the way then to Red Gum Flyer and they're followed two lengths away by Rim Delay. Three or four lengths for the back then to Megan Miss and tailed right off in the event. Amazon Tire about four lengths away. Racing down 600 metres to go, the leader all timber. He's a length in front in second placing over on the inside is Carrar. Going around him, Red Gum Flyer about two lengths to Rim Delay. Three lengths to Megan Miss and five lengths last of all is Amazon Tire. Coming to the bend, 400 metres left to travel. And over on the inside, all timber just in front. He's going all right, going up quickly on the outside. Red Gum Flyer to tackle it though. Two lengths to Carrar is struggling and they're followed by Rim Delay. But on the corner down, Red Gum Flyer raced to the lead and kicked away. Down at 150, Red Gum Flyer put two lengths on them now. On the inside is all timber followed by for the back Rim Delay. But this is coming away now, Red Gum Flyer. And Red Gum Flyer races on the score by three lengths. Second was Rim Delay. Three lengths away, third Carrar followed by Megan Miss. They're followed by all timber and last in Amazon Tire. Stand by. By flashing. And racing, they came out as one, two, and uh, beginning very quickly, Who's Black looks like leading. Cleverside quickly drops back to the rear of the field, but there's only three lengths from first to last. Around the outside, there is Italian call, and they're followed for the back then by Heaven Court, the inside. And two lengths away, last of all, Pleverside settling down here, and Who's Black just in front, but they're well bunched. Over on the inside there, trying to keep it out is Heaven Court, and Italian call is the one out wide, and they're followed, pushing in between the by No Bear. And last of all, Plebiscite there, really packed up as they run down the side. And going to the front, who's black, but he's out very deep on the track. Plebiscite getting up on the inside now has gone up to be second. Uh, they're followed for the back then by Nabir Italian, call second last. And back on the inside, last of all in the field is Heaven Court. Coming to the home turn of Plebiscite, a beautiful piece of riding by Debbie Waymouth. She's got up on the inside and hit the front on the favourite now. On the outside is Who's Black under pressure, two lengths away, Italian call. Then came the bear and last of all when they turned for home, Heaven Court. But Plebiscite given his head, dashed away on the corner. He found two lengths now in second placing on the outside, Who's Black. They're followed by Italian call, but it's all Plebiscite but 100 to go. And Debbie Waymouth has ridden this a treat. Big win coming up for Plebiscite. She wins by four lengths. Second was Who's Black. Third's going to be tight. On the inside, I fancy Heaven Court just in front of Italian call and the bear last in. Stand by for the placings. Stand by for the placings. Number one, Plebiscite first. And the starter says go. And a racing. Came out in the beautiful line too. Our Prince Lou towards the middle, one of the first to jump away. And Lanera went back to last and you're dropping right out of it there. Couplet star. At the winning post the first time, our Prince Lou in front, but Dippering went up quickly on the outside. There's no real pace on it. Out very deep is Just Our Kale going up there, and they're followed just behind them by Palo Vista as they leave the straight. A link to Y.R. Prince Lou, and they're followed by Here We Come. Two lengths for the back, then our Feline on the inside. A couple of lengths away, Multicultural, and back on the inside, Linera last of all. Heading into the back of the course, 1,400 metres to go, and over on the inside, it's Differing just in front. Differing about a neck in front of in second placing, Palo Vista going up second, and Palo Vista looking for the lead here, draws a half length in front of Differing. One length to Couplet Star, and they're followed by our Prince Lou. A half length away, travelling well on the outside is Just Our Kale, and they're followed for the back then by Alphaline the Rail. A half further back, here we come, about three lengths away. Linear at the inside, a multicultural last of all, about 1,100 metres to travel. And Palo Vista eventually went around the outside and took up the running. Palo Vista by two lengths, two differing, a length away, Couplet Star third. About two lengths further back, our Prince Lou on the inside, three lengths to Just Our Kale. A half further back, the inside, Alphaline, and they're followed by here we come, Linera. Our multicultural still last of all. They race down past the 800 metre mark. And the leader still going very quickly. Palo Vista is shot away, led two lengths now. Differing on the inside of Couplet Star. A couple of lengths away out. Prince Lou about three lengths further back then to Just Our Kale. Some of these who want to get a wriggle on from back in the field. They're followed further back then by Here We Come. Around the outside of runners, but uh, from a long way back is Linera. They're followed further back by Alphaline. And well back in the race also as they rake their way down the side. Multicultural about 400 metres to go. And this leader starting to paddle now. Palo Vista taken on by our Prince Lou. Our Prince Lou took the lead, Differing coming off the fences, running on quickly. But our Prince Lou, the leader, Differing out wide, coming after it. They're followed by Couple Star and Palo Vista on the inside, battling on with 150 to go. Differing's hit the front. Differing on the outside, race to the lead now. On the inside is Palo Vista, then our Prince Lou, but Differing in front. And Differing's got the money. Differing, a good effort. He scores by three parts of a leg. 
Bella Vista fought on well second. The length away stood out for Inslu. They're followed for the back by Couplet Star and then came for the back then was just our Kale. On the outside, Multicultural, then came Lanira. Well back out for Lean and the last one to complete the course was Here We Come. Stand by for the placings. There's the light for the cup and away they go. Came out beautifully, too young and reckless, a little slow to begin and going back to the rear after the start was Larada Sun. First to hit the grand classy Sun, leads by a length in second placing Arctic Comet. Wild Bull racing up out wide to take on the leader of our two lengths, the Golden Sino. A length and a half for the back into Arctic Comet, shifting off the rails and they're followed by Advisor. And dropping out towards the rear of the field as they lead the straight Larada Sun. 1400 to go and Wild Bull in the new role today goes to the lead, led by two lengths. Classy Sunny second, a length away third, coming off the rail, Golden Sino, one length away, Arctic Comet. Two and a half advisor is tucked away over on the inside, and they're followed for the back then, second last in the race, as they work into the back of the course, young and reckless, and last of all in the field is Lorada Sun. 1,300 metres to go, Wild Bull, the leader in the cup, led by a length and a half. Classy Sunny second, and young and reckless out three deep, went up now to be third. One length away, Golden Sino, followed by Arctic Comet. It's over on the inside of Lorada Sun, and the favourite, last of all now, advisor. Race up with about uh, 900 metres to go and Wild Bull is trying to steal it, led by three lengths. In second placing on the inside is Classy Sun, one length away Golden Sino, the inside of Young and Reckless, a length and a half into Arctic Comet, two lengths Lorada Sun and last of all Advisor. Down the side they charge now, Wild Bull still the leader, he led by two lengths, Classy Sun is second, one length away Golden Sino, he's pulled the whip on it, two lengths away and closing the gap now and running on quickly is Arctic Comet and they're followed two lengths away then by dropping off now uh, dropping right off in the race now as a race down the side. Young and Reckless has lost ground. Going around at Advisor and last of all in the field, Lerada Sun coming up to the home turn with about 500 metres to go. And Wild Bull still the leader, led by two lengths in second place in Classy Sun. Here's Arctic coming and Advisor around the outside. Two lengths for the back, Golden Sino, and they're followed by Lerada Sun on the corner. Wild Bull the leader, Classy Sun, Arctic coming, Advisor out wide. Wild Bull in front of the 200, coming again, Classy Sun the inside and down the outside, Advisor with Arctic coming on the inside though Classy Sun took the lead on the outside Wild Bull and Wider Red Advisor Advisor picking back Wild Bull they hit it all oh, I don't know it might be Advisor or no Advisor on the outside a nostril I'd reckon from Wild Bull two lengths away third Classy Sun they followed then by Golden Sino and well back Arctic Comet second last Lerada Sun and last in Young and Reckless <laughs> What a great finish! Says F.A. Bain, a brown gun racing. And the first one to drop back after the start was Medeon with Stargin went back to the rear and first to bounce out double Sam just in front. Val the rule out wide going up very quickly with Kint the King the top weight driving up on the inside. Thousand metres to go, Kint the King joined by Val the rule two to double Sam, one to High Comet, three to Stargin and last of all in the field as they make their way down the side is Medeon down the side they race now and with about 800 metres to go Val the rule a half length in front of Kint the King, one to double Sam, he's going a right on the inside of High Comet, two to Stargin and around the outside. Medeon last of all, 500 metres left to go, it's Kint the King joined again on the outside by Val the Rule, two lengths for the back, double Sam 30 inside of High Comet and three lengths away last of all in the field, the last couple of Medeon on the outside of Star June, 400 to go coming to the turn, Kint the King the leader of the top weight, he's two or three lengths in front, in second placing High Comet out wide, Val the Rule struggling and for the back, double Sam, three to Medeon on the last of all, Star June, Kint the King in front on the corner, he's hanging a little bit but he leads by two lengths, double Sam out the pack, looks to danger for those by Medeon on further back, High Comet running down with 150 to go, Kint the King in front on the outside, Double Sam pegging it back, Kint the King in front, Double Sam trying hard, Kint the King just in front and wins. Kint the King ahead on the post, Double Sam, two lengths away, third Medeon, then Val the Rule, High Comet, and last in was Stargin. I'll have a look at the And an Australia Day restricted handicap. Racing in the last event and the first one to drop back was young Kyla went back to the rear Northern Invader a little slow to go Amberdale was showing good speed and driving right up on the inside magic ritual to try and hit it off one length away then Moifar's man around the outside followed by young Carlisle. Second last Northern Invader and last of all in the field is Polo's Mantle settling down here to leader Amberdale by two lengths. 
Magic Ritually second, two lengths away, third to inside is Moifar's man. Wonder Young Carlisle and they're followed second last by Northern Invader and two lengths away is Polo Mantle last of all. Down the side they race now and still the leader on the inside and doing it well. Amberdale a half length in front. Magic Ritual went up second, three lengths to Young Carlisle the inside and they're followed for the back end by Moifar's man. Three lengths to Northern Invader. The favourite giving them a big start and two lengths away. Polo Mantle last of all, 350 metres to go and going to the front. Magic Ritual took over now from Amberdale, one length away Young Carlo and coming home well, Moifar's man around the outside, Northern Invader still a fair way back but now running on running down to the 150 metre mark now over on the inside, Magic Ritual the leader coming at it, Moifar's man on the outside, it's the leader getting close to home though, Magic Ritual flashing home, Northern Invader on the inside, too late Magic Ritual's beaten Northern Invader on nostril. Young Carlisle on the outside from third. They're followed by Morfar's man and then came Amberdale and last in Polo's mantle. Photo uh, called for here. Photo called for. Yeah. Four, one and two.